Hi, I'm Paul Drew from Studio One Expert. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to use automation in Studio One. So first of all, I'm going to show you how you can automate plugin parameters by using the drag and drop function. So let's load up the Greg Wells Waves uh, piano centric plugin here. Now, if you look up here, you'll see it says input and you've got a little hand. So if I touch this parameter here, just watch that change up there. So as you can see, it's changed to that parameter, which just says piano. So if I just hold down that hand icon there and I drag it onto this track, you'll see my automation lane appear. So let's just play that track and I'll change some of the parameters here. Okay, so let's automate this part here where it says bridge. So if I grab my transform tool here, and I'm just gonna draw an area here. I'm gonna drag it down when it gets to that bridge, just so the sound changes. And let go. And now see what happens when we get to that bridge. Watch this bit. And then when we get to the chorus, Now all of these parameters are changeable. So if I click on the delay there, I can drag this down onto my track. And during that section, I can drop the delay, say. So if we watch the delay parameter there. So this is great for creating transitions throughout your song. Now this was recorded with live drums and there's multiple mics on this drum kit. So let's have a quick look at these kick drums here. And as you can see, we actually use three mics. I've got a sub kick, PZM kick, and a Sennheiser there as well. Now all of these kick drums here are grouped. As you'll see, if I click on one, all three tracks are highlighted. So let's open my mixer. And I want to try and find those kick drum channels in the mixer. So if I find them in my range and I right click and I push show in console they'll all be highlighted in my mixer so as you can see I've got these bussed out to something called kick sub so let me just go over to my buses over here and here it is called kick sub now if I just click on the fader here I just want you to watch up here you'll see it change so let's just do that so I'm going to click on my fader and it changes to kick sub volume there. Now I'm just going to close my mixer. So if I want to automate a group of tracks that are sent to a bus, and I want to be able to automate that in my arrange window. So I'm just going to drag this hand icon down again. So if I just drag it down here in between the tracks, you'll see there's a blue line that appears. So now I'm going to drop that. Now, I've now got volume automation that I can change inside my arrange window. So let's just highlight this section here and solo the kicks. Let me just click on the chorus. So I can drop the volume here. And as you can see, when it gets to the end of these automation nodes, the volume comes back up. Now this can also be used to adjust the amount of, say, send effect here on my send inside my track. If I click on my send here, actually let's turn this reverb on, I'll turn these off. If I click on my send, I can control the amount of send effect if I just drag it straight onto an automation lane here. I can either just draw it in with a mouse at the different points where I want things automated. Just undo that. Or I can draw in the automation as I'm going along. Just dip it there. And turn it up. And anyway, you get the idea. So this is really useful if you want to create like delay throws, etc., or just changing the whole transition of your song. Anyway, I'm Paul from Studio One Expert. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.